of digital organizing. Today we're talking about naming your files. Creating a system for how you name your files and folders on your computer will help you tremendously. The ultimate goal is to be able to find these files later and with a little bit of forethought you will be able to create a system that will work very seamlessly. So let's take a look at a few things that you should consider. First off, you need to be descriptive. Now the file name should really tell you everything you need to know about that file. Like the date, if it's related to a certain event, if this is a document or a bill. Now I know some of this information may be embedded in that file like date, but that's not always convenient to, to open up the properties and look at that. It's much easier to be able to open a folder, scan through those files, and find what you need. Secondly, be consistent. By always naming your files in the same manner, you'll be able to actually create a sorting order in your folders. Here's a couple examples. When it comes to my photos, I always start with a date field. I use a four-digit year, two-digit month, and two-digit date. Then I follow up with the event name, followed by an additional descriptor that's going to tell me a little bit about what happened on that day. This ensures that all my photos are going to be sorted chronologically and then by the event or other information that I find pertinent to those pictures. Another example would be bills and statements. I used to have separate folders for all of the vendors that I dealt with. Now I throw them all into one folder by year, but by naming them appropriately, they come up in a perfect order. I start with the name of the vendor, that might be OUC or Amex, and then I follow up with a four digit year and two digit month. This ensures that by the end of the year, all of my Amex bills are gonna show up chronologically grouped together, followed by the other bills alphabetically. Third tip is to make sure that your file names make sense to others. This is really important when you're sharing your documents or emailing them out. Let's give you an example. Let's say you are refinancing your house. You fill out the application, scan it in, and for your purposes you might name that Refi App 2014. However, when you send that off to your rep, it may get lost in the shuffle. So consider adding your last name, a reference number, and a more complete date to that file name. Hopefully you'll find these tips helpful and it will allow you to create a naming convention that will work well for you. We'll see you next week with another video tip on going digital.